going to be sinking the SS Thompson, and it's filled with passengers. And I'm going to try saving them on these lifeboats while we're sinking. But all right, we're in the cabin cars right now. We got to start driving this thing, and we better hope that we have good steering because we got an island directly in front of us. Uh, we're going to try turning it to the right here because there's, yeah, even more island over there. That'd just be a horrible mess if we turn that way. But let's go ahead and activate all these lights here. So there we go. Let's also cross our fingers that my computer can handle this. Oh, geez, my computer sounds like an engine revving up here. But um, let's engage full throttle. Does the throttle work yet? I don't think it does. Okay, we got full throttle engaged on that one. Yeah, it's not even working. Oh, geez. So we have to go down to the engine room. It's a little bit laggy right now. So I'm just going to no clip down there. The lag will definitely even out, though, once we um get out of the docking area. That's just how Stormworks work. But we're going to go ahead and click that, that, and that, and that. And engine should already be on just from that. So it's like a very simple startup procedure. So let's just hope they start spinning here. Let's wait for them. Um, there we go. Okay, they're both starting to move. I'm going to engage full throttle on both. And we are going to try turning out of the way of this island here. And there is a pretty big lip that sticks out there. So we have to just try dodging it all. All right, they're spooling up right now. Hopefully we start getting some high RPMs and the ship does start moving. There we go. I'm starting to feel it kind of launch back here. Let's line it up. Yep, we're totally moving. I got the rudder completely turned to the, what's it called? Starboard? Yeah, starboard. Okay, so we are turning that way. I think we're totally going to make it from the current rate of steering. This thing actually has some pretty good steering. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, out on the deck. Be sure you are holding on right now. We got this thing cranked to the starboard and do not fall off because I will not be stopping. We do not have time for that today. We are sinking this. Oh, wait, I can't say that. Okay, yeah. So we are going on a voyage today. I hope you guys are enjoying your voyage so far, sir. Um, That's an interesting shadow you got going on there. I think he's a ghost because that's a little bit creepy. And I think we've just cleared the island. Let's see. Um, Yeah, we made it. Yeah, we're totally fine. All right, so I'm going to bring all of you guys inside. I know you guys want to be out here in the nice sunlight, get your vitamin C in, but uh, we're going to just bring you inside, okay? I don't want everyone out here because sometimes stuff does happen and people fly overboard and, you know, we just don't want that. So I'm going to set you guys, you know, I'll just let you guys go in here. We, we need to tour this thing real quick also because that has a pretty nice interior. All right, so up here is the captain's areas. We've already seen this. And then we have all the emergency bulkheads that we can close. And then we have a alarm that we can activate if there's uh, an emergency down there. And then this is the ultimate button right here if you just want to go ahead and read that real quick. So yes, um, what's behind this door? I have no idea because it's locked. It's just a random un uh, decorated room, which is completely fine. I'm so excited to sink this thing. Um, are we still clearing that island? I hope we're still going to clear it because we'll definitely feel it if we're down here. I'm going to go downstairs here and close the doors behind us because we might get in some bad and rough weather here. All right. So do you know what kind of room we're in right now? I have no clue. So this is also going to be a tour for me. I'm going to walk through their sliding doors right here. Do they work? Uh, oh, they do. Wow. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. So it spins. Um, how fast can I spin this? I'm wondering here. Uh, oh, it's going way faster. It's going really fast right now. Oh, this is actually kind of funny. I'm going to stick an AI in here when I get it revved up really high. Oh, we are just running in a circle. Okay, I'm going to run out of it right now. Oh, wait. Okay, so let's see how fast it's spinning. That's going pretty fast. Okay, we're going to drop you in there. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. You are fat. You completely brought the door to a halt. Anyways, um, this is the dining area. I don't even know what this is. Why is there like a stage here? I'm so confused on what this is. The islands are getting really close. Are we going to clear it? Um, yeah, we are. It's just getting really shallow. Oh, geez. Okay, well, I have no idea what this room is. Hopefully, we start seeing some stuff we recognize below here. We got some interesting like checkered flooring. Um, We got a route here. What in the world? I do not recognize anything from this map. That must be like a completely custom made map because I got no idea. Okay, so we're going to go back here. This is another grand dining area. So this is a pretty nice looking boat. We got a grand piano over there, of course, looking nice. I'm wondering where all the um, actual passenger dorms are at. So we got the main kitchen right here. That's awesome. And then another main area with a piano. They really like these pianos. Huh? Does this work? Then we're going to go up here to the front of the boat. And these are the locked doors. So these would actually be cabins. They just didn't want to put interior in them for uh, multiplayer leg purposes. And this is the staff stairwell that goes all the way to the bottom of the ship. So that's uh, useful sometimes. And we're going to go over here. I thought this would be the actual deck, but I think we're too low for that already. Yeah, I think we are. So what is this? The mail room? Yes, it is. We got the mail room right here. Looking nice as always. We should have put a passenger down here. Maybe we'll do that. Then we have the cargo storage area up here in the bow. And this is a pretty giant storage room. We can fit a whole bunch of stuff in here. If we look to the port side of the boat, we are passing by that big uh, thing that was sticking out earlier. All right. So we're entering the spooky staff stairwell right now. Hopefully there's not water on the bottom, but we're going down a couple floors here. I think it's just one. We are now on the bottom of the boat. So there's boilers 
boilers in here. I did not know that. Okay, we probably should light those. There we go. Awesome. Boilers are being lit. And then back here was the engine room we saw earlier. And then these are the bulkhead doors that we can manually close from up there if there is a water emergency. So everything's going good in here. We do have a ballast tank too. You know, we're going to fill both ballast tanks because we do need to sit a little bit lower because I think we might hit a storm here. Okay, fill both. We got some bilge pumps over here. Awesome. We don't need those on right now because we are not sinking, fortunately. Uh, we're going to go over here. What is this? What in the world is this room, guys? I don't know. This is kind of creepy. Uh, another storage compartment. Yeah, I have no idea what this is. I think that's basically the boat, though. We've gone through almost all of it. I think I feel like I didn't. I feel like I definitely missed some things. But yeah, there's no interior over there. Um, Yeah, we've gone through everything. Uh, I think we're way too shallow to actually click the sink button, though. Yeah, so I think a couple meters of water would bring us sitting on the bottom of the ocean. We're not trying to do that. This thing's bottom is just filled with weight blocks. That's actually kind of insane. But we need to get out to sea here because we are going to beach ourselves. So let's see if we go just directly forward, we should definitely get much deeper. Let's just see real quick. Um, Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, I'm going to put some of these passengers in some specific positions here. I don't want them all on deck when we actually sink this. I want to actually try rescuing them when they're below the deck. Um, Obviously, I'm not going to be able to get some of them, which is kind of the fun part. Not for them, but yeah, for me. Um, But let's just search for some area that we can put them. So let's open this watertight door here. And then, oh my gosh, I put so many passengers in this thing. So there's even more back. Is this Debbie? Debbie's still in the game? Okay, that's kind of impressive. I thought she disappeared, but hello. Yes, everybody, please follow me. All 16 passengers. Everybody follow me. We got an NPC train. Please don't act like an NPC though. Okay, so we're going to go in here and then I'm going to go down a floor. So we're going to run around this corner right here. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing? That's a VIP guest. Do not talk to her. Um, Let's see. So where are we at? Okay, so you can stop walking here. We're going to go all the way down. I need to go down a couple more floors. Should we use the staff stairwell? I don't know. Should I don't think that's allowed. Um, hmm, That's a lot of staff members. Do we need that many staff? Okay, I'm going to put some people up here. So we need some people in the mail room, of course. So everyone come in here. What's this? What in the world? I think that leads down to like a bulkhead or something. Debbie, you are going to be our mail operator. And then we're going to go back here. Someone can be sleeping on the bed. So you can go right there. Perfect. And then we're going to go down here. Everybody follow me down into the staff stairwell. Okay, I know you're not allowed down here, but be careful too. Don't jump down these stairs. These are like super dangerous. Okay, so we got these uh, nice boilers here. You guys look like you're in the right outfits for this. There we go. And we got the engines over here, which you guys have to operate correctly because we are not trying to sink. So we have three engine operators down here. Awesome. You guys monitor these engines. Let me know if anything goes wrong. Thank you. All right. Amazing. You know, I don't think we need two people down here. Here, you lady, follow me. We can go all the way over here and you can be in this random room right here that I have no idea what it really does. Or maybe this one. You want to be in this room? Yeah, that, that seems more cool. Okay, we'll put you in here. All right. So if you see water down here, just please let me know because this is probably going to be the first room anything does start to happen in. And that's a bulkhead door. So if that thing closes, you're going to be locked in here. So you definitely got to let me know. All right. So I think we're clear to click the sink button. Here we go. We're going to unlock the sink. And just to verify, how deep are we? Oh, uh, we're plenty good. And we're going to be going out a little bit farther too. So it'll be good. The sink button. And I've just heard a lot of doors open up. Okay. That's concerning. I don't see any water warnings. So I don't know that there's waters technically. Yeah. I'm not seeing anything abnormal down here. Nothing at all. Yeah. There's just some particles here and there, but nothing's actually spawning. I don't see any water like actual uh, containing on the floor yet. There's nothing building up. I don't know. Hopefully that girl lets me know what's going on down there. I better go check up on them because I think there is a pretty crazy amount of water going down there. Uh, we're going to first check the engine room and then check the other front compartments. So let's go down here, see exactly what's going on and see if the bilge pumps can actually overcome the problem because I'm going to turn on the bilge pumps before we close the bulkheads because you cannot actually reopen the bulkheads in real life. I learned that they just slam shut and you have to like do something crazy to bring them back up. Okay, so I'm going to enter the staff stairwell here. Perfect. I'm not seeing any water down here. Maybe some particles, maybe two, but yeah, it's all clear on my end. There's a random hose down here for some reason. All right. I'm not seeing anything. Looks fine to me. Um, oh, geez. Oh, geez. Let's see here. So that does not look good at all. Maybe I should close the bulkheads first. What's in here? Is, is there any water in there? Oh, gee. Okay. Yeah, I think we should close that. Nah, we should open it. Yeah, that'll help the fishes out. All right. So we are actually currently having water flood in here, which isn't good. Um, bilge pump. We don't need that on yet. I just need to monitor the situation here. Oh, so it does look like some doors are letting some water in here and there. Lady, you should have warned me about this, but yeah, I think we're fine for now. We're totally good. Yeah, just a small layer of water is coating the entire um, flooring of the ship currently. It's actually starting to spread to the engine room. That's kind of concerning. If you guys don't want to get your Christmas socks wet, I would advise you get on the um, ballast tank platform right there because it's about to start getting really bad in here. What 
what does that button mean? Hold on. I'm going to go back up here. What does that button mean? Does that like make something glow? Oh, it does. That's what that does. It's actually kind of cool. So do you guys think I should close the bulkheads? Um, you know what? That's what we're going to do. So we're going to sound the lower deck alarm and we're going to be closing all three watertight doors right now. So they are now closing. Perfect. They're all activating. Last one should pop up. There we go. All right. So all bulkheads have just been closed. We are currently taking on a pretty crazy amount of water. We're sitting lower in the water as we speak. Let's see what's going on down here. Okay. So that bulkhead is closed right there. We got the this entire compartment closed and then the, yeah, everything's closed basically in the lower levels. About lifeboats. So I, I don't think it's necessary yet. We're totally doing fine. We are not sinking. We do have the emergency alarm on though. So um, everyone needs to be in like their battle stations or whatever you want to call it at this current moment because we are taking on water. All right, just taking a peek down here. This door should totally be closed. Um, oh, that's what that button is. That is what that button does. Okay. Bulkheads should not be able to be reopened. But anyways, uh, yeah, so it's clear down here. No water. Then our emergency buzzer is currently going off, which is amazing. Everything's going to plan. Uh, staff stairwells having water actually go down it. Yeah, honestly, I'd say we're fine. Like there's not really water going over any windows yet, which is all that matters at this point. Yeah, we're doing good, guys. I don't know what anyone's talking about. Um, do we need the bulkheads closed? I don't think we do. Honestly, I don't think it's at that point yet. We're going to be reopening all those. Turn off the actual general alarm, too, because we don't need that. Um, those are bulkheads that are open right now, too, I think. Let's go down there and double check. So in here, uh, yeah, so she has a bulkhead door open. We're going to go ahead and close that. We should definitely not have that open. How do I? Oh, OK, yeah, I forgot we opened them. Anyways, the water's kind of concerning in here. It's not too bad yet, though. Um, Just keep an eye on the boilers. Yeah, you just keep filling it up with coal. Do all that stuff right there. No water down there still. I don't know. They must be like drinking it or something. But um, let's go check the mail room because that is a pretty important factor of the ship. Uh, yeah, the mail room is completely dry in here. Debbie, how's it going? Amazing. How's mail going? OK, I'm going to call uh, an emergency stop. So I'm making the executive decision to shut down the engines. Engine room, can you please shut it down from here? Um, put it to zero. What in the world? Guys, our back is really lifting up here. OK, I think we are starting to have issues down there. I'm not getting any alerts up here, though, so I think we're good. I don't know. From my point of view, I would say we're doing completely fine. Like, it just looks like a normal voyage from up here. Uh, I don't know, because these windows are really starting to get close to be going underwater. I may or may not start loading lifeboats when that window goes underwater. I might. I'll consider it. I'll be nice. But I don't know. I'll have to think about it for a long time here, because I don't. Uh, does that even seem necessary? Yeah, like this guy right here, he wants to stay in the ship. Like, I don't think anything's wrong either. I'm sorry, but what is this? Is this water being pumped out? What in the world? OK, there's an anchor here. You know what? That's actually a little bit cooler. OK, so we're going to drop our anchor as we speak here. So we're going to winch up. There we go. And some of you guys probably noticed I grabbed a rifle. OK, so I'm going to try shooting out some of these bilge pumps that are taking out the water because I did not activate none of that. We're just taking that out and then we got it over. So now we can lower it down into the ocean. Perfect. Amazing. And that should hopefully help our situation out a little bit better. Um, So let's see, how should I shoot these out? So I'm just going to shoot it like this. Do you think that that'll work? Yeah, totally. So those aren't pumping out water anymore, right? Oh, they are here. Maybe I'll do this. So I'm going to do a little bit of cheating here. I'm going to turn on infinite ammo and then go down here and shoot him out from here. OK, so there we go. Perfect. Get the oh. Oh, geez. It's like a swimming pool in here. Okay. We don't look at that part of the boat, guys. We do not look at the negativity of this boat, guys. There's nothing wrong with this boat, guys. It's totally fine. There we go. I got caught on a ledge here. Keep shooting them. Keep shooting them. Yes. Uh, can I even aim up that high? Guys, the water's kind of starting to get over that window. I said when it's completely over. So we're good for now. Um, You know, that's actually kind of rising pretty fast now. Oh, see. Yep. Now it's gone. Like, I swear. We do have a small list currently ongoing to the front side of the boat here um is the window under yet nope okay yeah we're good um okay i think i'm gonna be closing bulkheads again i'm sorry all right everyone emergency stations emergency stations we are currently locking all bulkheads once again we're filled up with water fairly quick this time um the windows are about to be underwater oh don't go under you guys it's getting way too close oh jesus in the boiler room here the water's really starting to like surge here fine we'll start loading lifeboats but i'm loading them i'm not deploying them okay so debbie you're first and then the sleeping person you are going here also i should probably uh rescue the people in the engine rooms first but that is their problem okay we're gonna use the staff stairwell because it is an emergency of course um don't look below us either there's just some water pouring in yeah that's totally fine go up here don't look below you please that should you just look below you you idiot okay well there should be 
be a giant door right here that should be open. Perfect. All right, so how do we get to the lifeboat deck? It's a deck below us, so I don't know how to get up there. Oh, you gotta be joking. We gotta go back inside. Okay, Christmas man, you follow me too. I'm gonna open this big door. Amazing. All right, everyone follow me. Follow me. We're boarding lifeboats. Uh, all the crew and staff members are staying downstairs for some obvious reasons here, but let's see. How, should, how do we deploy these lifeboats? I forgot. Um, okay, so we do davit. So we're gonna do davit it out like that, and then we're gonna lower it down just a little bit so we can at least like, you know, um, board it. So we're gonna try doing that. There we go. Oh, geez. Okay, too far, too far. Don't do it too far. Where did the, where did everyone go? Oh my God, guys. I don't know where they're going. Okay, push it out a little bit so it's not caught on the boat. Guys, where did you go? We are in a emergency. Okay, follow, 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 and follow me, Debbie. Oh, geez. I'm actually kind of concerned. The bow's really starting to dip under. All right, Debbie, you go on the lifeboat first. Debbie is the captain of this lifeboat. Okay, guys, you guys need to listen to her. I'm not deploying it yet, so you guys are going to be sitting there for a hot minute here. Lady, you need to board the lifeboat right now. I can't get to her because she's like in the wall. Okay, I'll just grab you from here. I guess I can do that too. Uh, sir, you need to go on the lifeboat. I know you really like this voyage of mine, but no, we got to go up there. Something's going on. So I've just realized we're absolutely not grabbing everyone before the sink sinks. All right, follow, 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 follow. I don't know. Just follow me. Oh God, oh God. Okay, uh, where's everybody at? Okay, they're following me. Perfect. Don't get stuck on the stairwell like the other losers did. Yep, there we go. All right, this is going to be your guys' lifeboat right here. Uh, listen to the people in the green. If you're in the green, you are the go the leader. Okay, so we're gonna set you there. Uh, maybe I should call the staff to start evacuating at this point. Um, I think we're fine for now, sir. Okay, you know what? Since you want, since you want to be on this boat so bad, you can stay down here. You know, you can go down to the engine room while you're at it. You can see what's going on down there. You'll maybe think of a different decision here, but we're gonna put you down here and see how you think of this. All right, we'll just set you in here with this kind lady. Uh, that's a dude. Okay, yeah, you just have fun in there. I'm also gonna be shutting down engines because these are basically useless at this point. There we go. Oh, it's actually evening out. Okay, I better start helping the people down in the engine room, like the actual staff team now. So we're gonna go down here, see what's going on. Okay, so it's just a little layer of water. You guys all follow me. Where was that one girl at that we locked in here? Um, where did she go? Hello? Oh, uh, there you are. Weren't you in that room? Okay, whatever. She probably swam out of it. Um, we're gonna be going to the front of the boat here and try rescuing all the engineers. We are really filling up right now. We gotta hurry up. Okay, you guys need to go, go, go. We are evacuating the ship, guys. It is flooding really fast. We're totally underwater right now. The front is going down. Okay, so staff stairwell. Everybody stuff yourselves in here. Go, 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 go. Okay, we gotta go up here. Oh, they're having, oh no, this is really bad. Okay, uh, I guess I have to manually do this for some of you. Oh, there, there we go, there we go. Okay, everyone go, follow me. Oh, this is really bad. It's filling up, it's filling up really fast. Okay, go all the way to the top of the stairwell, guys. Follow me, follow me. Oh no, there's people stuck in the stairwell. Oh geez, I just fell down too. Okay, uh, everyone follow. Come on, don't follow me like going back down. Stop jumping all my stairs, please. Okay, we just need to get out of this thing. We need to get out of here. How do I get out? Oh, there's the Morse code station. Okay, uh, you can do Morse code for us, please. Okay, we need to go. Uh, lifeboats, lifeboats, lifeboats are up a deck. So we have to go back inside and then go back up another staircase. I thought I had way more people. Okay, that's fine. Um, all right, all right. Follow me, follow me. We're really sinking right now, guys. We need to hurry up. The bow is going under. Oh, jeez. All right, we got the lifeboat here. We're gonna be stuffing a lot of you in here. Uh, don't mind the staff members that are still downstairs. That was their decision, by the way. Okay, so we'll set you there. We'll set you in that seat here. Oh, uh, yep, that's fine. That's fine. Yep, totally. That sometimes happens. Um, Christmas Santa Claus, you can go right there. Uh, when you're lowering the lifeboat, sir, please be sure not to crush that guy or at least try getting him aboard. Okay, so, uh, including you, we're gonna put you right there. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Well, we had a slight inconvenience. Anyways, um, I'm gonna get ready to deploy these lifeboats because the bow is starting to actually have water on deck. Sometimes it doesn't happen all the time. Yeah, right now. See, you see that? What in the world? Who opened the bulkheads back up? Oh my gosh, guys. That's probably why we're sinking so fast. Close them right now. Oh, someone opened the back up. That's why we're sinking. Oh my gosh, guys. There's waves going over the deck. And normally when the deck goes underwater, that means it probably sinks a little bit faster than a normal. The stern is like totally out of the water right now. The propellers are almost out. Um, we better start lowering lifeboats. I think we're about at that point of the ship. Okay, uh, we're gonna lower this one right here. So lower this. And then we, I think we disconnect one of the ropes. Okay, so I'm gonna, I have to drop my gun for this part. So we just connect that one right there. And then, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, I don't think that was how we were supposed to do it. Oh, we we're supposed to do it when they hit the bottom. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, they're at the bottom now. Yeah, let those people on your lifeboat, please. You need to do that like really fast because there is a lot of people about to drown, including myself. Okay, we're gonna try doing this right here for the next one. Okay, so winch down. There we go. Oh, um, 
What the heck? Okay, other way. There we go. Goodbye, Christmas elf team. Oh, what is going on up here, guys? It's making all types of weird noises. Oh, it is getting rough. We need to hurry up, guys. We got two more lifeboats to launch. All right, this one's launching right now. It's almost at the bottom. Close enough. Okay, disconnect that. And then we got to disconnect that right there. Awesome. All right, uh, there's the rope if you guys wanted that. Yep, you're welcome. All right, what is going on? Oh, my God. Shift to the other side of the lifeboat. You're too fat. Oh, Jesus, guys. Okay, well, that's their problem. That is totally their problem. We just got to ignore stuff like that. All right, how's it going over here? Do not mind what's going on on the other side. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do lower. And we need to lower this one, too, because this is an active emergency. We need to lower all lifeboats. This is actually going pretty successful so far, besides the front of this thing. Go, 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 go. Okay, uh, that one should be at the bottom by now. We're going to go and disconnect that one. Go, go, go. We are going to die. Um, Wait, I'm the captain. Do I have to go down with the ship? I don't think that's a thing anymore. Yeah, they've updated their policies. We don't have to go down with our ship. Okay, there's no one in this lifeboat, so we'll just disc... Oh, jeez. Guys, this really isn't good. There's a lifeboat hanging down. Okay, disconnect. Disconnect. Oh, they're sinking too. They are sinking too. Um, uh, yeah. You guys think I should get on this lifeboat? I really don't think I even should. Okay, we got to do one more check throughout the ship. Make sure there's no other passengers still stuck down here. So we're going to look down the staff stairwell. I think it's clear. Yeah, we're totally good. Okay, um, oh my gosh, guys. The water's like all the way to here almost. We are sink... Oh, uh, Morse code. I think Morse code normally goes down with the ship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can stay down here. No problem. I'm going to put out some of my own Morse code here because you kind of suck at it. There we go. That does not look good. Now, get off my shoulders. You are way too heavy for that. Jeez, what is going on with that thing? Yeah, we need to get out of here. Okay, I'm going to start boarding my own lifeboat here and leave this door. Oh, isn't that convenient? Oh, that's really bad. That's a big door that's open that I can't close. Okay, we're going to sink much faster. Hey, you guys mind if I jump on your lifeboat? What about your guys? You know what? I think I'm going to pass on that one. Um, Yeah, what about this one? You guys, uh, I think you're overweight too. Oh, I don't even know what to do. Oh no, the ship is sinking so fast. This is like insane. Okay, let's go below deck here. Let's see what you'd be experiencing. So there's still no water down here. Um, it's actually about to be water down here though. The cargo room is filled to the brim almost. This is something you love to see as a captain. Just the entire bow of your ship making all types of weird looking stuff. I don't even know what that is. Rescue services should be out here. I mean, we're typing out Morse code as we speak. So this is kind of taking forever. Oh Jesus, the water about to go up here. Um, It's getting really, really close. So that's actually really concerning. I think the bottom of my actual little thing here is about to touch. Oh, geez. I'm sorry, Morse code person, but there's water flooding in here. You're probably going to die. Yeah, look at your hand and see what you can do about the situation. This is a horrible position to be in. There's like water all over these windows. Oh, geez. This is completely under over here. Captain's area is starting to actually have water starting to flood over it. This is bad. This thing is really starting to sink. Okay, activate reverse. Reverse. Even Wait, we turned off the engines. Oh, geez. Oh, it's completely under water. Oh my gosh. And I'm stuck on this stupid ship with all these stupid passengers. Oh, there's so many ropes. Oh, geez. <laughs> that is definitely a hazard. Everybody, if you haven't already, start evacuation. I have a feeling that we may be sinking right now, but I am just, I don't know. I can't verify it. You know, I don't, I don't know if we are or not. Like, look at the situation. I think we're totally fine right now. Where are the rescue helicopters and planes at? Guys, this should be like a news source over here. What's going on? Oh, it's doing the thing the Titanic did and it goes like straight vertical. All right. It's time to climb to the stern of the ship and desperately try surviving this crazy angle. Oh, no. Going down. Just line the boat up with the water. It is really starting to go straight vertical right now. Guys, look at this crazy, like, set. It just looks like a movie set over here. It's going lower and lower in the water, guys. I might try making a jump for one of these lifeboats. Probably that one over there. It looks the best floating one because these people's, like, lifeboats kind of suck at floating. Morse code operator is not doing too well. Anyways. Oh, geez. All right quick i have to make a decision we're going for this one right here go 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 okay don't swim under it at least okay we're gonna go on this side to try evening out the weight there we go hello christmas tree uh don't mind what's going on behind you it's just a little bit of a situation but guys that's probably gonna be it for this sinking ship video we did end up surviving and saving almost everyone i think two people died but make sure you guys go like subscribe hit that bell join the discord link is in the description but thanks for watching and goodbye